X. I am the anomaly Will Farrow. Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. Gotcha Cloud. And we are the RK Tokens. And on this episode of Token Reacts, we are taking a trip down memory lane. If you are a fan of the RK Tokens, hopefully you are checking out our other show, Coin Toss, which is a part of Thunder Gaming and also uh, sponsored with Caesars. Shout out to the Rumble. They see that that was that was for the for the ad right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> and uh Previous episode, we had saw uh, Cleo had brought up a throwback commercial from video games. A lot of people don't remember when video games had commercials like that, but PlayStation made a dope commercial with Crash Bandicoot as a mascot invading Nintendo. And so Cleo thought it had been only right to bring us a few more of these nostalgic commercials that, I, you know, we remember, but it's still in the back of our head, but to refresh us down memory lane. So if you could, uh, Cleo, what is this first one that you are about to show us? Absolutely. Thank you, Will. This is this was a fun time not too long ago on my stream where I just went on a binge. I just started watching all of these throwback commercials that just brought back every single memory from our childhood when it was just cartoon and marketing. Cartoon and better marketing. It was incredible. And this one came across, and I remember feeling so happy. And I remember actually finally getting this game. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the very first Super Smash Brothers for the N64, this is that commercial. Play it. Something's gone wrong in the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. Introducing Super Smash Brothers, where all your favorite characters go to the Stop, 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 stop. Who started it? Go back. Mario, <laughs> Mario. Mario tripped the shit out of you. She was like, <laughs> "Go back." Yo, hold on, pause it real quick. Real quick. They were Go vibing. Real. Yo, yeah. what was funny was you said that uh, this nigga Yoshi and Pik Pik Pikachu don't never hang out, and the first thing they weren't holding hands. I was like, "Uh oh, maybe there really is beef between." Maybe there's beef between these two. <laughs> oh man. Run it, brother. <laughs> Something's gone wrong in the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. Oh Introducing my. Super Smash Brothers, where all your favorite characters go toe-to-toe -to -toe in one four-player star-studded <laughs> slam fest only on Nintendo 64. Yo, they... Toss a Pikachu around like that, bro. Get Yo. in or get out. What an yes. incredible tagline. The best part about that is Mario was the only human, which means he most likely drove. So that means he, <laughs> <laughs> he brought all his animal friends all the way out to a sunflowery field yes. just to start a fight. Just to start they rumbling. Uh, they immediately jumped Yoshi. I don't know if anybody noticed that. Got his ass, bro. <laughs> I was like, yo. They said, said we doing this? <laughs> I was like, there's beef behind this. And Mario and Donkey Kong talk before they got here. Like, look here, nigga. I'm going yeah. to hold his hand. We're going to skip through the field. As as but I Donkey Kong it. Swung, it, swung it Mario for <laughs> He said, yeah. Nick, oh. <laughs> immediately started packing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's man. good. This oh, is a great is. commercial, man. <laughs> to know how far we've come with the Smash Bros. series, knowing it started with that and my man Yoshi with the hammer. Dog, I love oh, it. My first thought was like, how did Nintendo get such bad suits? Like, they're so big. And weird, and then they started fighting. I was like, "Oh, that's why." That's, that's exactly, why. That's exactly why. I was like, "Mario looks so tall." <laughs> <laughs> I love that is it, man. fantastic. Oh, that was great cool. commercial from my childhood, man. Kadi, do you remember that commercial? Of course. I was like, "Poor Pikachu!" That whole time, bro, just getting launched. They literally just kept throwing <laughs> Pikachu the whole time. And the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! What's sad is if 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 Smash Bros came out today, the commercial would have started at the gameplay. You know what I mean? It would have been like new Smash Bros. It's all your favorite Nintendo games fighting, and we would have seen nothing but gameplay. I don't know the last time I've seen a video game or commercial period, but marketing that was used comedy. You know, it, yeah. that was that was just jokes. You know, but 
it's really just all look at this game gameplay you know yeah. that's really that trailers and 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 that's that's it we don't really get this style anymore going back and looking at all the commercials from our you know our childhood bro i noticed that there was a lot more thought that went into what they were trying to sell and present to us we don't right. see it like that anymore man and there's so many there were some dumb ones right there were some dumb ones though like there was an old school Mentos commercial that was really bad. I don't want to, I won't, I won't go into detail about it, but go ahead. But think about this, think about this. They had us trapped. You know what yeah. I mean? The, the commercial break was a thing. We were trapped to TV. Now yes. it's like, you couldn't, you couldn't do a whole Mentos setup, but they do do, 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 skip ad. And we would never <laughs> know that that was a candy. You know what I mean? Like people literally have to get straight to the point because they had us for, you know, they paid a lot of money to have us for a minute and yeah. we either had, we either could leave the room or watch. So it's, it, it, I, I feel like I understand why it got that way, but it is sad. I, I get what you're saying. 90s cartoon, I mean, 90s commercials were, they were dope. They were dope, bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, this next one, Kadeen, can you bring up the second one I sent you? Yeah, I got you. Here it comes. All right. Let's get this second one, bro. Then you say it also had two, like, gonna be a that comes with Sonic oh. 1, you'll get Sonic 2. Hold on. Let me make sure I got y'all can the hear it, right? The voice. Hold on, hold on. You guys are in for a treat. No this, way. You guys are in for one hell of a treat. Can even run it. If it comes with Sonic One, you'll get Sonic Two, absolutely free. Sonic Two handles stubborn stains, embarrassing bald spots, no problem. It even slices and dices, makes thousands of julienne fries. But wait, you can play it too. This free Sonic Two is a fifty-four ninety-nine value. You get two Sonics for the price of one. Sonic Two fits easily into any tackle box, made from a space age polymer plastic for years of family fun, and pets love it too. Buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic One and get Sonic Two free. Act now. Wiener dog sweater sold separately. No. Um, Why would pets love it? <laughs> I, must, I, must, I must say this is a horrible commercial because. I tried every single one of them things with that goddamn Sonic 2 box, and it didn't do none of that. All it did was fit the tackle box. That was it. That so was, was it. this was this a retro-looking commercial commercial when it dropped, or was commercials like did they look like this also? Like this was, was like '80s, right? When this one dropped, because they they redid this commercial too. Because like I remember, like I didn't get the original one. I, it was funny too. Is I don't know if PlayStation took this from them. But like they low key kind of like Sega had kind of like their greatest hits thing with like the little red at the top. And so they had re-released the new version of the Sega Genesis. It was just like a little updated, but it was like a red box and it had the Sonic uh, on there. Cause this is when it was like Sonic. And I think they were talking about Sonic and Knuckles was about to come out. Mm. Sonic 2 came out in 1992. So November 21st, okay. 1992. Oh, so, so this, this was super retro. Yeah, 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 and I just thought it was so funny that the fact that they turned it into like a, like a, like a as seen on TV ad. Like that's crazy to me. That's it had the crazy. damn game doing random stuff, especially when the wine spilled over. I was like, okay, that's a little much. Uh, <laughs> they there's a couple. It with the <laughs> stupid, bro. Stupid. The last one I'm gonna play. Actually, we did already watch this on the um, on our coin toss, but I would love to watch it with you guys here and get a little bit more into detail with it. Kadeen, can you pull up the third one, please? <laughs> Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. Pack up your stuff. I got a little surprise for you here. Check it out. What do you think about that? You got real time, 3D, lush organic environments. How's that make you feel, buddy? Feel a little like your days are numbered? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're hurting my elbow. <laughs> my elbow? <laughs> Is that Italian? No, Bandicoot, it's an Australian name. <laughs> All right, bro. That was a dope commercial, man. They that was a that dope back. commercial. They should bring that back with like with how Crash is updated now. Make a mascot for him. And it's great because it, it was punching up. Like Mario couldn't do this to Crash because he was bigger, you know? Yeah. But the the visual of a Mario in his Nintendo office, like like his CEO office, like looking out the window, just like ah, Crash is here again. Like it's so funny to me because like let's be honest, in a fight, Mario wash wash and crash. <laughs> I don't wash that boy. Yo, I don't know why though. For some reason, I just started thinking about the office and Mario is Michael Scott and Luigi is Dwight. <laughs> Just sitting, just, oh wow! And I and just, just picture Mario. Sitting, yeah, he's just looking out the window. 
It's like, do you want me to go out there and do something to him? <laughs> like, what are you going to do? <laughs> Luigi? Sends Luigi? No, no, no. You good. You good, bro. You good. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, just imagine Luigi's like Dwight. My first thing is to execute, throw a green tunnel, and then hit him with a blue <laughs> a blue bouncer ship. Oh, my God. That's great. That, I don't know which one. I mean, I think the Smash Bros may have got it because I was dying laughing. But oh yeah, yeah, this oh, off is, top. This is great, and I, I feel like if uh, Crash just was more of a more consistent game, they might have been able to keep this going. But yeah. I feel like they, if they would have uh, advertised Crash Four like this. That would have been a crazy oh, Yes, modern day version of this, like yes. sub suites and all that would have been dope that marketing. Been, like Mark, yeah, for them to have the first one since back in this time to come yeah. out this year. Yeah. I mean, yeah, cra- we need to hear from, from uh, Life Size Crash. And he could have been talking major shit, be like, oh, see you kind of switched up your game there, buddy, huh? Mm. I took a look at Mario Sunshine, wink. <laughs> And it's just like Bandicoot emotes. <laughs> oh, that's oh, how did they not missed how opportunity? Think it is? Missed Man. opportunity. The thing about the Crash Bandicoot commercials from that time for the PS1 that there was a series of commercials, and Will had mentioned this on Coin Toss. Now I don't recall any of the other commercials, but I'm curious: was this the only one with a direct jab at Nintendo? So if it's okay with you guys, I'd like to watch the rest of them. I think it's about. Uh, I think the it's Crash about. Ones? Yeah, I think it's about three more. Okay. Okay. Let's, oh, that's it. See. Yeah. Was this just the rollout for the first game? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this this was never Crash Two or Three. This is that was just the original. Yeah, that was just the original Crash Bandicoot. Uh, here comes the rest of the rest of them right here. Let's let's do it. Fear not, plumber boy. The Bandicoot will come. I'm coming to get you, pal. Hi. How are you? Am I on the right street? Can can you tell me where Nintendo is? People run a lot here. This is really nice. Plumber boy, your time has come. So the whole campaign was shot. This the one Stop I saw. Stop looking at me. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? Never see a bandicoot before? Obviously. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst oh, nightmare is that was the drive I got a little yeah. surprise for you here. Check it out. What do you think about that? We got real time, 3D, lush organic environments. How's that make you feel, buddy? Feel a little like your days are numbered? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You're hurting my elbow. Is that Italian? No, Bandicoot, it's an Australian name. Is that it? We have more. Feldman, Joseph J. Feldman, Joseph J. According to my research, you're in the market for a new game system. Are you aware, Mr. Feldman, that Sony's PlayStation has more than 150 games? NHL Face Off 97, Jet Moto, Tobal Number One, Destruction Derby 2, Crash Bandicoot. I could go on. I'm going to give you a personal demonstration. Get off my lawn, you freak. Come back. Joseph J. Okay. All right, not bad. I think that's they, it. That's they had it. one they had one gem in the series. I yeah. feel like they should have just had him trolling other Sega and, you know, Atari Facts. and all that stuff. Facts. <laughs> all I know is this. If we see an official Crash Bandicoot page and he's trolling, y'all know who started this. <laughs> y'all know who started this. Yeah. Man. But uh ladies that's and gentlemen, cool. this was very cool. And we want to thank y'all. Hopefully this made y'all feel warm up in the heart and the stomach just like it made us feel we want to thank y'all for checking out this episode of token reacts man shout out to crash man uh like 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 pat said hopefully hopefully he will get a new run keep this thing going and finally get up there win the mario spot respect like he deserves but you know only time will tell but y'all let us know up in the comments so we want to thank y'all for checking this out make sure that you like Subscribe and turn on notifications to our YouTube channel for the Arcade Tokens. Always have content dropping out each week. Make sure that you are following and you are subscribed to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the Arcade Tokens, and our personal channels, twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas, Patrick Cloud, Will Farrow, and of course, Cathadius. I have been the anomaly Will Farrow. Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. Shout out to Kadeem, the tech guy. This has been Token Reacts, and we will catch you next time. Plumber boy. Plumber boy. Come here, plumber boy.